and today I'm reviewing the Becca Ocean Jewels Highlighter Palette. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchase. So this is a new uh, palette from Becca, and it contains uh, several new shades of her highlighters that she's known, she, it, the company, is uh, known for. And they're all limited edition, so she's got several shades, Coral Crystal, Citrine, Aquamarine, uh, Pink Pyrite, and Sunstone. And uh, she's got quite the packaging, because there we go. So there you can see all the different shades. Now, it's beautiful. I had to purchase it. It's $46. Uh, new things from Becca I had to get. But it's kind of hard to use it as an actual highlighter. She sells a, she at the company sells an individual brush that goes with it. But uh, I don't know. I don't want to have a brush that's specific to one product because I've already got a million brushes. Um, so using this as an actual highlighter for your cheeks, I'm wearing it now. But I find this to be a little bit better used as uh, like an eyeshadow topper than actual highlighter. The, once you kind of muddy the colors together, uh, it just doesn't look as beautiful as had you just picked one of her highlighter colors and used that, I, in my opinion. Um, but it's de definitely a very f ultra fine powder. It's got, um, you know, the good formula. It lasts quite a while. But um, overall, this could have just used some work or I would have preferred just to be able to purchase one of these shades individually as opposed to have them all together in one palette um, but anyway so let me start out with my criteria and the first is packaging and overall I'm not a huge fan of this packaging um, I just it's too bulky in my opinion and then it also makes it difficult to use the shades individually unless you're using them for something like an eyeshadow so um, I gave it kind of a thumbs down on that uh, the next is alcohol. Since it's a powder, obviously it doesn't have any. So got a good thumb up on that. Fragrance also, uh, thumbs up on that. Although there's some powder products that definitely have fragrance to them. This one does not, thankfully. Um, then the next criteria is manufacturing location. And I gave it a thumbs up for that. I believe it's made in the United States. Yep, it is. <laughs> Um, and then pigmentation uh, is my next criteria. And let me give you some swatches of this so you can kind of see. But uh, definitely could use some improvement. But overall, it's a highlighter. So if you're using it as a highlighter, it's okay. But as an eyeshadow topper, it kind of could use some use. So I'm just not certain exactly where in my makeup routine I would use this uh, most effectively. So let me give you guys some swatches, though. So as you can see, separately, they're all very beautiful. But if you're going to use this as one highlighter just on your cheeks, um, it's going to get muddied. If you pick one color, the packaging is so tight that it's hard to just pick up one color with your average highlighter brush. So I'm torn on the packaging. If she would have used something different or packages separately or in a bigger compact, it would have been easier. Um, but if you're using it as like an eyeshadow topper, it's just fine. And actually, I love this brush I just got recently. It's the Urban Decay. I think it's called the Finger Brush. And it actually is pretty packed bristles. So it makes it easier to pick up uh, color on things like highlighters and uh, other pressed pigments, things like that. So, um, But if you're using it as an eyeshadow topper, it's great. I love using it for that. That's what I've been using it for. But as an actual highlighter, it's tricky, and I, I don't want to have to buy the separate brush because I already spent almost $50 on this. So anyway, I'm kind of torn on that, but what are you going to do? So um, anyway, in terms of pigmentation, I gave it a thumb down, but uh, definitely 
there's ways to work around that or possibly uh, something I haven't tried with this yet is wetting the brush and then dipping it in. You'll probably get a little bit more pigment that way. Um, on the animal testing criteria, um, I gave Becca a thumb up. Uh, the Becca brand does not test on animals. However, they are owned now by Estee Lauder. I think they were purchased in 2016 by Estee Lauder. And Estee Lauder uh, does test on animals. So while the Becca uh, brand does not, Estee Lauder overall does. And I guess they're probably getting the money anyway. So they still get a thumb up, but I just wanted to kind of put that asterisk there. Um, in terms of performance, I gave it a thumb down. Um, it just isn't pigmented enough, and in terms of using it as a highlighter, um, it just doesn't perform as her normal highlighters do. Um, they're much easier. Although, I could see if you could buy these separately, like I said, and use them like you would use any other highlighter, they would probably perform a lot better. Um, but their performance is really better in terms of eyeshadow topper. Um, price, I also gave that a thumb down. $46 is a large chunk of cash for what you get. Although if they sold them separately, they'd probably sell each for $40. So a little torn on that, but it's a little pricey for the actual amount of product you get. And then the It Factor, I gave it a thumb up. It definitely has the It Factor. Uh, the Becca brand is known for their highlighters. Actually, they started out um, uh, the Rebecca behind Becca started out her brand because she couldn't find a good foundation that she liked. So that's kind of what her mission was starting out, but they became definitely known for their highlighters and, um, their formula and everything for highlighters is pretty amazing. There's not a lot of other brands out there that can touch it. So, um, overall this got a five out of a 10, which is mediocre. That is no thumbs up, but no thumbs down. Definitely they could use some use on this and I'm interested to see I, I absolutely love that color in the middle If I could get that and just use that as a highlighter in and of itself, it would be amazing But you know, it's so hard with them being so close together to just pick up the color in one color with a highlighter brush. So um, Overall a little torn, but um, I like it I'll probably be keeping it, but I'll be using it as an eyeshadow topper so if you're purchasing this with that plan it's much better than if you're planning to purchase this and use this as a highlighter. Especially when you combine all five colors in just one spot, it's just too muddied. So um, anyway, I'm interested uh, if you guys have had a chance to try this out yet or not. Um, and if you like any of her other highlighters and what are your favorite colors, I tend to notice that opal, the opal highlighter, that color is in like every Sephora favorites kit and I've got like 10 of them. So I'm going to have to try and find a way to re-gift that. I don't know, because <laughs> I have 10 of them. And, you know, their powder is so fine. So I think uh, out of 10 of those, I've got like one that's halfway down. But I've got nine of them that I haven't even touched. So I'll definitely have to re-gift those. But, you know, she's got a lot of different colors out there. And they're all beautiful and they're all amazing. And I really wish that they would have made these five, you know, separate ones that you could purchase. Because that, that uh, purple blue color in the middle there is perfection but the other ones you know they're similar to other colors that I already have so I probably wouldn't use those but the yellow and the blue are just absolutely amazing I'd definitely be trying to pick those out and use those as eyeshadow toppers so but you know her Ocean Jewels collection also has an eyeshadow uh, palette out there so I'm gonna have to check that out too and see what those colors are like it's not in the store yet but it will be very soon so Anyway, overall decent, so leave a comment if you've had a chance to try this. And uh, also, have you guys tried this brush? It's F110 from Urban DK. I'm loving it. I just picked it up at the store a couple days ago, so I haven't got to use it a ton, but absolutely loving it for uh, pressed pigments and eyeshadows and things similar to this. So um, anyway, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come with at least one new review every day. And check out nopsbeauty.net. I'm adding new content to it daily. So thank you so much, guys.